Stewart is the host of The Daily Show, or he was during its heyday, during its peak. And in this video, I want to break down some lessons uh, that can be learned from his career, taking over The Daily Show and then leaving it. Uh, this is inspired by the book Daily Show and Oral History, which you can check out. It's on Audible or anywhere. I, I listen to the audiobook of it. So here we go. Three lessons from Jon Stewart's time at The Daily Show. Number one is people hate change. So John came into The Daily Show, uh, he was taking over for some other guy that had run it for one season. And during that one season, it was as successful as it possibly could be. Uh, the guy that was hosting The Daily Show got poached by one of the big three networks to become a late night host. So that shows you how good the, the hosting of the show was. So when Jon Stewart came in to host this daily show, it was it was not a news show per se. It was more of like a comedy show similar to, to what was on Saturday Night Live. Coming up on today's show, husband and wife team Renee Taylor and Joe Bologna are here. They have a new movie out and we explore the nuances. The debate was fun, but our team coverage is fun times three. Plus, Michael Blyden unlocks another music video secret. But first, lather, rinse, repeat. Headline. So John had to pivot this show to his dream. And one of the main things that he came up against was everybody on the show or, or most of the people were against John from the start. So they had their own clique and they were trying to get John to host the old style daily show. And he had to fight and actually fire most of the people that were there. Uh, in order to get them to pivot to the the daily show as it as it became so once he had this show it became one of the biggest shows ever it made comedy central a uh, household name he had this platform he was, he was very successful and at the height of the show uh, john stewart decided that he wanted to leave the show for a few months and direct a movie uh, this movie was called Rosewater. It was about this Iranian filmmaker who gets detained and like beat up uh, in Iran. And Jon Stewart wanted to leave the show and his the people in charge of, of the show and Comedy Central would not let him leave. He had to negotiate very hard to get this. But he built the platform and he did leave the show uh, to, to live his dream, to become a movie director because he felt like he needed to do it. So the, the bigger uh, rule there is Nothing lasts forever, right? Jon Stewart could have easily just sat at the helm of The Daily Show forever uh, until he died, and he decided not to. He wanted to go host or go direct this movie and then come back. And that actually leads us right to the next point, which is keep going. This is the final point. So Jon Stewart, when he was off directing this movie, he put John Oliver, who is a British uh, man, British comedian, in charge of The Daily Show for a summer, for two or three months. And those shows were extremely highly rated. They were funny. Um, I actually saw him uh, live when he was doing his his uh, daily show uh, back when I was living in New York. That was, that was the one time I saw him. So he was hosting the show and he was getting great reviews. Uh, Jon Stewart knew at this point that he wanted to leave the daily show. And he was prepping John Oliver to take over when HBO gave John Oliver a much bigger deal to come to their network. So... The Daily Show lost its its host. It lost its replacement host. Jon Stewart still wanted to leave. And the thing is, here, here's the big lesson here. Jon Stewart could have given up the search, right? He was leaving anyway. He could have been like, okay, Comedy Central, you guys figure it out. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm retiring in a few weeks. But instead, he went out and he found Trevor Noah. He went out, he found uh, another replacement host for him. So that just goes to show you, like, you know, keep going. John Stewart's out there. He's living his, his other dream. He's directing. He's doing other stuff. But he didn't want the show to die, and he didn't let it die. So those are some lessons I learned from John Stewart. Feel free to check the book out. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you later. If you need uh, support for your digital agency, marketing support, check out experiment27.com. Like this video to encourage this type of content on YouTube, and subscribe to this channel for more B2B sales training. I'm Alex Berman. Thanks.